Hello everyone, this is Warrior Dan, and welcome to Overwatch Retribution. Now today we are going to be playing on the normal difficulty setting because I kind of want to start off easy. I'm not the best at the new mode and I kind of want to immerse myself in the story and, you know, have some fun. I don't want to stress about, you know, possibly being instantly murdered by a whole bunch of enemy troopers. So, without further ado, let's get into it. An Overwatch facility was attacked. The team needed to respond, but officially, their hands were tied. Luckily, <laughs> Blackwatch plays by its own rules. We all knew who was responsible. Rumor had it he'd be well protected. Our mission was to drop in and get him out so he could face the music. At least, that's how it was supposed to go. Good evening, Commander Reyes. <laughs> how will this look on the news? Overwatch unlawfully abducting a respected businessman? Even if you take me now, my friends would have me released within the week. All these... <laughs> theatrics have been a waste of our time. You're right. Reyes, what did you do? This was not the plan! Well... Looks like we're going with plan B. Okay, we are in game playing Moira. Now, as most of you know, I do have quite a bit of time on this character, so this should be fun. I don't know how well this is going to work out for all of us, but you know what? Always good to stay optimistic. Overall, I have played this level about two or three times now. I do find it to be pretty well balanced. I'm not going to go into too much detail as to what lies ahead for those of you who have not seen the new level in any amount of detail, but it does offer a bunch of new kinds of enemies and content that we've not seen before, and variety is one thing that this game has needed for a little while now, so I always like it when they bring back these co-op game modes. Just when we thought we had everything well in hand, we have these guys dropping from the ceiling. And I have like five minutes where enemies aren't trying to, you know, kill me. That would be most appreciated. Uh, there are times where I wish Mario Red did damage a little bit faster. <laughs> but to be fair, I should be focusing on healing people, not, you know, doing damage. But I'm a greedy person. I, when I see an enemy, I have to kill them myself. Like so. Okay, I think we're just about good. Another couple seconds and we'll be on our way. There we go. Okay, fine. I should probably heal my guys because they're about to die without me. You're welcome. <laughs> the things I do for you all. Our window of opportunity has arrived and now we go in. I'm curious who, who's that on the radio because I'm not entirely sure. Like, this is supposedly like. 20 years ago, I, I believe. So that voice on the intercoms might be a whole new character we have not seen yet. Keep out of the sniper sight. So that is pretty exciting to like, try to pick off the sniper. Well, that didn't take long. It's interesting how they reuse a lot of the mechanics, like obviously that, being, that sniper being very similar to Widowmaker. But at the same time, they... Oh, I thought that was our guy for a moment. You know what? I probably didn't need to use that. I just wanted to, to be honest. We seem to be blowing right through these guys. I was expecting a little bit more difficulty, but I guess this is what happens when you play on normal and not legendary. <laughs> this person is kind of tricky to deal with. Basically, it's like if you ever play Left 4 Dead 2, it's like the witch from Left 4 Dead 2, where it's will run at you and try to trap you to the ground. It's kind of annoying in a way. Oh, thank you, McCree. It's quite lovely. There we go. That's what I was talking about. Luckily for us, he's dead now, so it sucks helping these guys. Get that ult going. Uh -oh. 
I wasn't expecting that guy to pop out so soon, but I guess one of our allies triggered the event. So let's go deal with that. Let's uh, pop that. Get ourselves a little bit of ult charge. Kill that Kenji. Don't know why Reaper popped his ult right there, because the guy was nowhere near him, but you know what? Whatever, mistakes happen. Get our ult in there. Come on. No, no, no. Don't kill me, please. I have so much to live for. There we go. We did good. Kill these guys real quick. Thank you. So far, we're actually doing really well. Like, we've wiped through all these guys in maybe five minutes. That's still way faster than I've been doing for the most part. Wait, oh, there, there's the assassin. I'm like, where, where is the assassin? Nope. Uh, you're not gonna get me. Nope. I saw that coming. I've been trapped down or killed by the assassin so many times, I know what to look for. Basically, when it charges at you like that, you get the hell out of its way. Let's heal up our team, because we got a hell of a fight coming up here. We're gonna have enemies popping out from over there by the dock, over there, wherever that is, and down there. So, we have a couple areas to keep an eye out for. And also, there's some guys that pop out right here for whatever reason. There's like a bunch of weird spawn points. Oh, there's our first group of enemies. Let's see if we can pick them off real quick. Okay, here's our newest plane load of enemies. They're looking a little bit plain. <laughs> okay, that was, that was bad, but still. Where do you go? I saw him. There we go. I see you, little enforcer there. The enforcers can be a little bit tricky if you're at low health, because their shotguns do deal a, a hell of a punch if you're up close, but if you're farther away, they'll do almost no damage to you. Okay, let's go up here and help our Genji. There we go. I'm surprised, I thought it was a little bit harder than this. I <laughs> love the new dialogue in the game. It makes the characters a little bit more relatable to see them in the past and not just as we see them now in the future or in the present, I guess. I don't know. And as much as I like to get myself a good amount of glory and just annihilate the enemy, I don't want to die today. Let me just clear out these guys and make my way to back to my allies. Come on. Okay, time to run, I'd say. Can we make it? Yeah, I think we can. Easily. Time to get in, people. Let's get in and get out of here. And on that note, that brings us to the end of Overwatch Retribution. That was a fun little game mode. So, I guess he got what was coming to him. Still didn't seem right. But that wasn't the end of our problems. For the first time, people knew we were out there. New faces stepped up to fill the void in Talon. And I can't help but wonder if that's where it all started to go wrong. Well, this has been Warrior Dan. Hope you've enjoyed this Overwatch Retribution gameplay video. I'll be sure to bring you more gameplay on the harder difficulty levels very soon. Stay awesome everybody and peace out.